I have given help to one who is mighty. Now you will think that the one who is mighty doesn't need help. You know, God is saying that because you have potential for great things, I give help to that which is mighty. Because the mighty always in one way or other will come to the end of their might and strength. So he said, I have given help to the one who is mighty. I have exalted one chosen from the people. Amen. When people chose you, you still need God's exhortation. Praise the name of the Lord. When you have got exhortation, no one can pull you down. That is why this year, the year of open door, whatever door God opens for you, no man can shut. Whatever door God has shut, no one can open. Praise the name of the Lord. Because when God is involved, everything is beautiful. But if it is man that opened the door, it can be shut. If it is man that chose you, they can unchoose you. Amen. He says, So he said, I've exalted the one who is chosen from the people. That means God said, I put my blessing upon the one who is chosen from the people. Now look at that person who is chosen. He said, I found my servant David with my holy oil, I have anointed him. Come on, say, I am anointed. With whom my hand shall be established. Also my hand shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not outwit him. Nor the sons of the wicked afflict him. I will beat down his foes before his face. Hallelujah. And plague those who hate him. Come on, say, I am anointed. Say it again. Say, I am anointed. Hallelujah. Now, this is God speaking about David. He says, I've helped the one who is mighty. David is already mighty. He has done great things. He killed and destroyed the lion all by himself. The bear was destroyed. He killed Goliath. The giant of it all. He was a mighty man. But God said, even as him be mighty, I gave him help. Praise the name of the Lord. That is what the anointing does. The anointing it is, is the added power to you. The extension of God's power in your life. Praise the name of the Lord. That when you can reach here, where you cannot go forward, the anointing kicks in and takes you beyond your strength, beyond your level, beyond what you can, what you couldn't do ordinarily. If ordinarily this is how far you can go, the anointing helps you to go far. Praise the name of the Lord. Come on, say I am going far this year. Are you paying attention to me? Are you here this morning? Amen. So, God found David, anointed him. He said, I've give, I've exalted the one that is mighty. And that is why, no, by the reason of the anointing today, you will be exalted. The Bible said in the book of Psalm 92, the Bible said, my horn, have you been exalted like the horn of the unicorn? I have been anointed with what? With fresh oil. Psalm 92 verse 10. I have been exalted. I've been exalted. Amen. My horn. I've been exalted like the horn of the unicorn. Amen. You have not seen anything yet. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit, God will exalt you. God will lift you high. God will take you to the level that you have not seen before. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is powerful. The anointing is the power of God. The power of the Holy Spirit in action in the life of a man. Amen. The power of the Holy Spirit in what? In action. When God's power is in action, is manifesting, then we say, oh, this is the anointing. 
Why? Because when God's power is in action, we know it is not the natural man that is working. We know it is not your strength. We know it is not your intelligence. We know it is not your level that is in operation. God is in operation. Right from today, you don't operate at your level again. You operate at the level of the power of God. Praise the name of the Lord. You operate at the level of the power of God. Your story must be such that confused people. They say, wow, I don't know. Is it you that is doing this? How did you arrive here? No, 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 no. It is not me. It is the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the one who has given help to the mighty. The one who has given strength to the mighty. The one who has exalted the one who was chosen by the people. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is why David did extraordinary thing because he was a man that relies on the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. He was turned into another man. As soon as the Holy Spirit came upon him, the anointing came upon him. The anointing will turn you into another man. Into a better husband. Into a better wife. Into a better professional person in your field. Into a better businessman and woman. Why? Because the Holy Spirit set you apart. That's why I tell people, I say, listen, my business is not ordinary. It is extraordinary, powerful, supernatural business. Why? Because it is not operated by man or the nature of man. It's operated by the, by the realm of the spirit. And that should be <laughs> your operation. Amen. Come on, after today, you're operating a different level. Come on, say, I am anointed. 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 I'm not ordinary. When you understand the dimension of anointing, it is not only for minister of God. Listen, let me tell you. There is the anointing as a result of you being chosen. And as children of God, we are chosen like the Israelites. They were chosen by God. And they were anointed by God. That's why the Bible said, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. They move from nation to nation, from city to city. No one could touch them. Why? Because they were chosen and anointed by God. You are from the knowledge of Israel, so you have been anointed by the Spirit of God. The second dimension is that we have the anointed as a result of the assignment. The people are given special office. The, pa- the pastors, apostles, prophet, they are anointed for that special service. And some of you, you to have special service for God. And maybe in your in your chosen in your chosen career, maybe you're a nurse, you're a teacher. Amen. You better say, I am anointed teacher. Amen. Because God has kept you there and ordained you there and give you a special assignment. And as a result of that, it's going to give you a unique grace to stand out in the name of Jesus Christ. That is one. And there is anointing by the dimension of consecration. God will tell. He will tell the people in the, in, in the Old Testament. He said, as you build my temple, anoint this. Anoint the temple. Anoint that. And whatever is anointed is consecrated. That is a visible, that is a, an evidence that the hand of God is on this. It's separated and is given to God. Dedicated to God. And that is why your tithe, anytime you bring it to God, is anointed. Because it is consecrated. It belongs to God. Amen. And you give it to him. Praise the name of the Lord. So, what is, so we're talking about the chosen now. Because you are chosen from, by God, that means you are anointed by God. What happens to the anointed? Number one, the anointed is graced by God. Number one, the anointed is what? Is graced by God. Grace enables you to do what your natural strength cannot do. Grace takes you beyond the natural to the supernatural. God will not give you what does not match his grace for your life. Praise the name of the Lord. God doesn't always give you what matches your strength. He gives you what matches his grace. Did somebody hear that? 
Don't you give him more riches. Just say, oh, God, I cannot do this. Give don't say, I cannot do this. Don't say, you know, you are, it's not about what you can do. It's about my grace that is sufficient for you. God says there's something in my life that I couldn't do something. He said, but the grace of God is sufficient for me. When you're anointed, the grace is available. Come on, say the grace is available. And that is why you cannot give us in life. You cannot quit because something is hard. Amen. You don't quit because it is, you can quit because it's not the will of God. Or God doesn't want you to be somewhere. But not because it is hard. Because if it is hard, God have grace for it. Because you can do all things through Christ. Who does what? Come on, says, can do all things through Christ who strengthens me in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, grace terminates the grace in your life. When you are anointed, the grace of God begins to terminate struggles, terminate the grace, terminate every limiting factor in your life, in your destiny, in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen, amen. So, so when you are, when the anointing of God, when you understand this power of the anointing, you tell yourself that I am anointed. No more struggle, no more toiling in my life. Why? Because grace makes struggles to cease. Come on, everybody. Grace makes struggles to cease takes away struggles. You see, what I'm doing today as a pastor, I do it with ease. I don't struggle. Praise the name of the Lord. The people who struggle to do this, amen, I don't struggle. Why? Because grace by the anointing is available. Grace by the anointing is available. I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit coming upon you today, grace is available for you. You will go places in the name of Jesus Christ. You will enter difficult places and it will be easy without strength, without struggle in the name of Jesus Christ because grace is available. (laughs) Whatever God gives to you matches his grace for your life. Grace. I remember as I started doing business and business I was telling God, I said, you told me to do business. How do I do with ministry and business together? He said, my grace. And when I talk to people and they talk to me, I say, pastor, how do you do it? I said, you don't do it if God didn't assign you. Because it gives grace. It gives grace for the assignment. Number two. Number one, I said, the anointed is graced by God. Number two, the anointed stands out. Come on, say, I'm, I am standing out. I am made by the anointing. You will be outstanding in what you do. By the anointing, you can't be anointed and do any kind of thing. The anointing makes everything that you do to stand out because it is not the work of man. It is the work of God through you. Making things happening. You know, the Bible, I was reading, I read the book of Acts of the Apostles, so beautiful, so powerful. You know, I'm almost done with it, so powerful. And I read, after that scripture we read on Friday, if you go to chapter 4 of Acts of the Apostles, the Bible says that they look at this man, Peter and John, who conducted this miracle of this man, and they look at them, they say, oh, these guys, did not go to school. They were they are illiterate. How come they are doing this outstanding thing? <laughs> when the doctors and the teachers of their time were dumbfounded by their action, by the miraculous, by things that is defining science. And I said, ah, you know, in Acts of the Apostle, chapter 4. Verse 13, look at what they say. say, Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were uneducated, untrained men, they marveled. May your life become an amazement to people around you. 
May your family become an amazement to people around you. May your business become an amazement to people around you. May the anointing of the Holy Spirit in your life begin to speak in high places. In the name of Jesus Christ. Make your work stand out. When the supervisor come to, to check all other work, they come to your own. They say, wow, this one is different.